Okay, so how much do you actually understand about a simple shape like a triangle? Well, if you have a pretty good understanding of triangles, then you should be able to answer this question. And the question here is the following. So we have three angles in this triangle. This angle right here is x degrees. This angle here is 2x degrees. And this angle right here is x minus 32 degrees. And what we want to do is find the actual angles of this triangle. Okay, so feel free to use a calculator to help you out here. But if you have the solution to this, go ahead and put that into the comment section. I'm going to show you the correct answer in just one second. And then, of course, I'm going to uh, walk through the solution to this problem step by step. This is a very typical, very common type of math problem. Okay, and if you don't understand what's going on here, well, then this video is for you because you're definitely going to learn something very interesting about triangles and how to solve a variety of not only triangle problems, but other type of geometry problems. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And it really is my true passion to try to make learning mathematics as easy as possible. So if you need assistance in math, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe button, as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so we have three angles here. We're looking for these angles. What are they? Well, let's go ahead and see the answer. The actual answer is 53 degrees, 106 degrees, and 21 degrees. So if you came up with these three angles, well, then that is fantastic. We must celebrate by giving you a nice little happy face and A+, plus, a 100%, and multiple stars. So you can brag to your friends and family that indeed you are a professional expert in the area of triangles okay but you don't uh, you need to know a little bit more than just about triangles okay we need to have uh, some properties of triangles that of course I'm going to review here in a second but you're also going to have to have some basic algebra skills now for those of you that um, are studying geometry or want to study geometry the typical course sequence uh, for geometry, and I'm kind of talking like high school level geometry, is algebra. You need to have a good one year, uh, first year algebra down before you move on to geometry because many geometry problems require uh, algebra. Okay, so if you are interested in geometry, uh, again, make sure to get that algebra done. And by the way, uh, I'm going to leave links to all my uh, main courses to include algebra and geometry in the description if you're interested. Okay, so let's go ahead and get going here. And uh, what we need to do first is understand a super important property of triangles, okay? And if you don't understand this property, well, then you're not gonna be able to solve uh, this problem, okay? And that property is the following, okay? It has to do with the sum of the angles of any triangle, all right? Well, what is it? Well, let me go ahead and show it to you. The sum of the angles in a triangle is always 180 degrees, okay? This is uh, something that you absolutely need to know, probably one of the most basic uh, properties of triangles. So when you see a triangle and you're working at a triangle problem, just remember that all the angles, no matter what type of triangle you have, and this type of triangle right here happens to be what we call an obtuse triangle, at least visually, we can see it that this angle right here is greater than 90 degrees. So if you have a triangle that has 90 degrees in it, this is a right triangle. If you have a triangle where all the angles um, are uh, less than 90 degrees, and let me see if I can uh, do this a little bit better, something maybe like this, okay? Uh, this is what we call an acute triangle. There's different types of triangles, isosceles triangles, but the main idea is it doesn't make a difference if you're dealing with a right triangle, an acute triangle, or an obtuse triangle. An obtuse triangle, again, it is where one of the angles is more than 90 degrees. It doesn't make a difference. All the angles, when you add them up, will always add up to 180 degrees. So that is the key here uh, to solve this problem. So if you're like, oh, okay, and just, you know, I can kind of see where this is going. I did say that this is going to require algebra. So what you want to do here is set up an algebraic equation. Okay, you have your three angles here. You know that the sum of these angles is going to be 180 degrees. So set up this equation, solve for x. Once you have x, then you can find these angles. Okay, so let's go to take a look at the actual work. Um, but before we do, okay, 
the actual work. I want to give you, I first wanted to give you an opportunity to set up the, the equation, okay? So let's suppose you're like, okay, Mr. YouTube Math Man, I understand that all these uh, angles, this angle here, plus this angle here, plus this angle here, uh, is going to be equal to 180 degrees. So we can just drop the degree notation here and just add these up. So I have x, okay, plus this 2x, plus this x minus 32. All this is going to be equal to 180 degrees. So most of you probably understand that. Now this really comes down, do you have the algebra skills to solve this basic equation? Okay, so there's kind of two components to this problem. One, understanding this property of triangles. The second thing is understanding how to solve basic uh, algebra linear equations. Okay, so let's go ahead and solve this right now. But before we do, I want you to uh, do something for me if you don't mind, and that is to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Now, this really does help me, but it helps me reach other people. And that is my objective. I'm trying to connect with people that are interested in math or need help learning mathematics, okay? My biggest uh, passion really is to prevent people from giving up on math. This is a huge, huge problem, and maybe uh, some of you can relate uh, to this. Uh, many people think that they're not good in math or they struggle in math. They're just, they have this kind of, um, you know, this uh, impression about themselves and that they can't learn math or they struggle in math. I'm telling you right now, you can be great at math. You got to be willing to work hard, uh, number one. Number two, there are no shortcuts, but what you need most importantly, you need encouragement and you need great instruction, clear and understandable, comprehensive, in-depth math instruction. Okay, and uh, you know, it's, uh, you know, basically math taught in a way that you like and understand. So if you could find a teacher like that, and you know, hopefully you have one if you're in school uh, that teaches in that manner. But if you can't, well, then I would like to fill that role and teach you. So, anyways, hope you could uh, do subscribe, and if you do, make sure to hit that notification bell uh, so you can get my latest videos. Okay, so now we took this uh, geometry problem and we turned it into an algebra problem, more or less, right? So here's our equation. So let's go ahead and solve 4x. This is not that difficult. So what we need to do first is add like terms. So we have x, 2x, and x. So this is going to be 4x minus 32 is equal to 180. And now uh, what we're going to do is add 32 to both sides of the equation. And if you don't understand what's going on here, if you're like... Um, you know, I'm a little bit lost. Let me give you a couple quick suggestions. Uh, one, I have a ton of additional videos on how to solve equations, uh, all different types on my YouTube channel. But if you want some more like, like basic formal instruction, you know, or comprehensive full instruction on this, probably check out like my pre-algebra course. Uh, in my pre-algebra course, I do have some basic geometry as well. You'll find links to all this in the description. Okay, so let, let's go ahead and continue to work this equation. So we have to add 32 to both sides of the equation. And we're going to end up with 4x is equal to uh, 212. So to solve for x, all I got to do is divide both sides of the equation by 4. So x is equal to 53 degrees, okay, or 53. But we don't stop here, right? So the question is, what is the angles of this triangle? So we have to go back to our lovely uh, uh, picture of this triangle and say, okay, x is 53 degrees, so this angle here is x. So this angle right here is, in fact, 53 degrees. Well, this angle here is 2x, so how do we calculate that? Well, easy, just take 2, multiply it by what x is, which now is 53 degrees, so this is 106 degrees. And then, of course, to find this angle, x minus 32 degrees, we know what x is, that is 53 minus 32, that's 121 degrees degrees. I'm sorry, 21 degrees. All right. So uh, for those of you that are actually going to be taking geometry or any sort of math course that involves geometry, this is a very typical type of problem. And it's not only with uh, triangles. You can have um, uh, problems like this that involve like rectangles or other types of uh, polygons and whatnot. So just remember that if you are going to take geometry at a higher level, you're going to need that algebra. All right, so hopefully this video was interesting. And if that was the case, if you're like, you know what, this wasn't a complete waste of my time. I actually got a little bit out of it. If that's the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. And with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.